Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us now proceed towards Euler's formula. Consider a cube. It is a polyhedron. Then the number of faces of a cube can be denoted by f r6 number of vertices denoted by v r8 and number of edges denoted by e r12 Clearly, f plus v is equal to e plus 2 Take the left hand side f plus v means 6 plus 8 that's equal to 14 and if we take the right hand side then e plus 2 means 12 plus 2 that's equal to 14. This means the formula holds for cube. Now let us see if it holds for all the polyhedrons. So let us take another polyhedron. Say we take a triangular prism. Now let us try to find its spaces. We have two triangles and three parallelograms and one would be the base. So three and two five faces. Let us count the vertices. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So number of vertices is 6. Let us count the edges which are 9. Now let us see whether it satisfies this formula which is called Euler's formula. We have f plus v equal to 6 plus 5 that is 11 and e plus 2 would mean 9 plus 2 that is 11. That means triangular prism also satisfies f plus v is equal to e plus 2. Hence we reach the conclusion that for any polyhedron f plus v is equal to e plus 2 where f denotes number of faces. E denotes number of edges and V denotes number of vertex. Consider a question. Can a polyhedron have 10 faces, 20 edges, and 15 vertices. To find the solution, let us check using Euler's formula. We have f is equal to 10, v is equal to 15, and e is given as 20. And the formula is f plus v should be equal to e plus 2. So let us substitute in left hand side. We get 10 plus 15 equal to 25. Let us check the right hand side. e plus 2 means 20 plus 2. That's 22. So since 
left hand side is not equal to right hand side that means the Euler's formula doesn't hold and such a polyhedron does not exist we will write polyhedron cannot exist